What's happening YouTube? Today we're shooting street photography at night as well as first thing the next morning with the Fuji 56mm 1.2 that I rented for a few days and I'm trying to get the most out of using it. And I also want to talk a little bit about if you want to become a better street photographer and something I tell myself all the time when I'm out trying to shoot is how bad do you want it? But first of all we're going to go into the GoPro footage and if you like these POV street photography type videos and you like learning from another photographer's process then hit that subscribe button, I upload new videos every single week. Alright, so you'll see in today's footage that I shoot a lot of really mediocre or just plain bad photos just to arrive at that one or two that I actually like. But that, that's the point really, you have to keep shooting through the times where you don't think there's a photo there or it just ends up being a bad photo because without shooting through that resistance I would never have shot the photos that turned out to be some of my favourite photos. And this is what's happening right here, I'm looking at this jazz sign and I'm thinking that looks pretty cool, there's this like blue light just like filling up the street. I mean how can I shoot this? I could just shoot a picture of the sign and it would be kind of boring and everybody would think to just shoot a picture of a sign if they thought it was cool. So I slow my shutter speed down and make it into this photo. And this one came out a lot better than I thought it was gonna. I like the sort of like repeating pattern of the jazz sign as the camera was moving and all of that like ambient blue light that's coming in just gives it this kind of funny sort of abstracty futuristic feel. Then coming across Broad Street here I saw there was like a bike messenger guy coming along with a red hat so I tried another slow shutter speed shot here trying to sort of blur the background out and this one did not come out well and if you watch this vlog you've seen me try photos like this before and they've came out much better but I always like to do this anyways especially with bikes just to add some interest. Then I see this smoke coming out the ground here or the steam and I actually turn back to get a shot and there's a taxi coming through the background there and I get this shot here which kind of it looks New York-y to me probably just because of the yellow taxi on there with a little bit of smoke but there wasn't enough of the I think it's steam coming from under the ground to really make it look cool like if there was tons I would have hung about there and waited for a person to walk through but it didn't really work out like that. Then I'm coming along here, there's an entrance to the subway and there's a guy just randomly standing in there which is a really weird place for someone to stand, I've never really seen people stand there before. So I take a shot like through the gap here and it doesn't come out great but um, it was worth the shot, I also had all the camera settings wrong so moving on. I try to use this bus stop here as like a reflection, I should have done it on a different street or found a bus stop with a, a bright window behind it somewhere on the same side of the street but here I'm just shooting across and I actually get some like reflections of the cars as well which is kind of cool but I'm just too far away and this silhouette of the person is not like the the window starts too high up so there's not a good silhouette. Um, I like the colours in the picture that's something but otherwise not a good picture. And then here this poor girl just falls off her bike right in front of me but she was she was fine she just like hit a curb or something. This building looks really cool not anybody milling around here at all so I didn't really figure anything out here. This building looks cool as well. I'm seeing a lot of stuff that I don't know lights up at night or I don't know they lit, lit up so cool at night. Uh, the building across the road here as well was kind of cool but this guy's silhouette was just touching that dark area with the front of his face so it kind of ruins it a little bit and also I'm just too far away and it's, it's not that great a shot. Alright so this is the next day, this is Chinatown, I always like to walk through Chinatown, it's a really interesting area of Philadelphia to go through, it's kind of early for the sun really to be hitting anything so it's actually probably the worst time of day for me to come through because there wasn't really anything happening, no interest in light but there was this guy here on this street corner and he's sort of, it's, it's not, it's not good, it's not a good, so it's, I was trying to use the deep shadows there but it's, I don't like it. Uh, a little bit just on the edge of Chinatown now I see this person's shadow on the wall there you see it it's like it makes them look huge and the shot I end up taking was just of the person silhouetted against the wall but I wish I'd been early enough to have got the shadow a bit more or if that car wasn't there I could have shot it when they were further back and the shadow was still on the wall it would have looked much cooler. The lamppost kind of is an annoying element in there because it just looks like it's sticking out the roof of the car but I do quite like the colours 
and it, it, I'm just annoyed that I wasn't closer or something, but it is what it is. Then I just start walking around for a long time before I take any more pictures. I'm under this bridge, there's nobody walking around this area. It was a really bad choice of places to go to. In this like patch of light here, I was thinking, oh, wouldn't it be good if just like a person walked along, but nobody's coming along. I did not see this person. I don't know how I didn't see them, but just as they were about to walk in, I dropped the camera and walked on. Then further up the same street, this person's still walking beside me and I realized they were there by this point. And I got this shot. They're silhouetted, which, which is fine, but the background's too chaotic. Um, it's, it's not good. I almost didn't go down this underpass and to be honest, it wouldn't have mattered if I didn't anyways, because nothing happened, but I just like the light that's coming through here. It's kind of a basic, obvious street shot, but nobody walked through it, so I just kind of gave up and moved on after a while. Like this side, look at that light coming, like that diagonal light. Then waiting across the road here onto the Penn's Landing area, and this person walks up this walkway. Again, I'm too far away, would have liked to have been closer. Maybe I would have got like a clean silhouette background, but I don't think I'd be able to get low enough. So um, not good, moving on. So this like old concrete looking structure that goes up into like an amphitheater that looks over the water. I see the light is hitting this sort of maintenance shed, I guess, in an interesting way. Never seen it like that before. I just like the colors and the sort of geometry there. I thought it was cool. This stairs here, this was just an exercise in composition, if nothing else. Nobody was walking down here. I thought maybe if someone was walking down there with like a cool suit and a hat on, which isn't gonna happen at this time of day in this part of Philly, but it's, um, it's an interesting staircase. And then just trying to make something out of this thing was trying to frame the flag there. I, I don't really like it that much, but just trying to work with compositions. And they have this sort of stage thing set up, which is just in front of me just now. So I start shooting close-ups of it just to make abstract sort of shadow and color shots. And this one came out fine. It's not, not anything particularly great. Might be nice in a photo set or something. I always liked this area of Philly. Like I've never really seen it busy before. And it's, there's so much lines and like stuff that could be going on here, but, but I just haven't figured out how to shoot here. All right, so here, I think maybe I just changed the battery or switched the GoPro back on, but I had just taken a shot on this street corner, actually on the street corner across the road, and it was of the building in front of me, and all I did was use the traffic lights there as like a frame and wait for a person to run through. So they were a dark silhouette in the foreground, and the building was um, like properly exposed in the background. And I think it came out okay. It's not it's not an Instagram, I don't think, or portfolio shot by any means, but um, it was a nice experiment and sort of came out how I expected. Maybe I would have liked her to have been bigger in the frame, but then she would have blocked off those other traffic lights. And this time I'm underneath this hotel archway that you've definitely seen in the vlog before. I always shoot here whenever I go past it, just on the off chance that something interesting would happen. And eventually it did. This person walked through halfway along and I got this shot here, just of them silhouetted against that light hitting the pole there. It's very rare that I get this much light on like the sides of the pillars. Every time I come through it's dull or maybe I'm shooting the wrong direction um, or there's too much happening under there or not enough happening. And this one I really like. I just wish that maybe I'd moved over a bit to cut off that little bit of street that you can see through there. But I was also trying really hard to cut off the entrance at the far end. So I really like how this one came out. So the problem with this shot is that it's very repeatable. Stuff like this happens in this area all the time and all people have to do is wait for it. So that is the downside of this picture. One slightly less repeatable shot that I got in this area was these two ladies that were smoking, I could just see this one lady sort of poking out and there was a little bit of sunlight hitting the exact spot where she was and she's kind of silhouetted against the wall there just as she was taking a draw of her cigarette. And I, I like this for, for what that is. I like that gesture and I like that that's not an easily repeatable picture as well. All right, next, I'm back in, right in the center of the city and there's this like chrome pillar outside this bank. So I start shooting some pictures here. 
just to see what I get. And I end up getting this one. Super abstract looking photo. You can almost tell what it is. You can see that it's a street scene. It looks, just looks kind of compressed. And I, just, I, I like the way this looks. It's kind of a funny looking abstract picture. So not mad about this one. Now see this guy in this shop window and he's got a cool hat on. And he's just, I don't know if he's drinking coffee or whatever. But I take his picture just because he looks kind of mysterious sitting there alone. And this picture would have been much better had I had the, uh, the presence of mind to like turn the aperture down to a wider aperture and blur out that background a bit. Because those two outlets on the wall kind of wind me up and the fact that everything's in focus winds me up. And also the fact that it's at ISO 12800, which is ridiculous. I basically ruined this photo by not changing the aperture myself. Then I like start looking up. Anytime around the Comcast Center, I'll look up because it looks so cool around here. And clearly with a wide angle lens, it can look awesome. And this is what I get with the 56, which is kind of cool and like geometric in its own right. But I, I like the wide angle look up shots way better. Uh, heading back towards the train station now. And I see that there's this I Love Philly sign, which is pretty new, I think with the fountain on behind it and the light is just hitting the back of the fountain. It just came up above City Hall and it is kind of interesting, but it's not, it's not good. I try to get a little bit closer as well and make a similar shot, but I then get too close to really get everything in the frame. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work out either. So um, moving on from there. So in my last two street photography videos, maybe even my last four street photography videos, I've had a lot of success in getting a few images that I really like that I would want to put in my portfolio or to maybe print or just put on Instagram or anything like that. In this video, the two sessions that I filmed, they were really unsuccessful sessions. I certainly didn't get anything that I would want to put in my portfolio, but that is kind of the deal with street photography or with anything in life that is difficult and worth getting good at. Even when you're good at it, even when you're getting better at it, you're still gonna have days where you're just horrible, you're off your game, and you're not doing well. But you have to put in the time, and the more you do it, the more you're gonna see results. Think of it like a sport. If you take up soccer, you have to practice all the time in order to get good at it. And even when you're practicing, you're gonna go some days, and you'll just have a terrible day where everything you do is trash but you keep going back and you slowly get better and better over time and you have little ups and downs. And it's the same thing with street photography. If you don't train, if you don't push through those bad days, you're never gonna have good days and you're never gonna get good at street photography. And that's what today's video was for me. It was just me struggling through, feeling out of my comfort zone during the night photography, feeling like an imposter, like I shouldn't have been there, like I'm not good enough to be shooting street photography, when I've shot loads of great images that I really like and I'm pretty proud of, in that moment, that's what I felt like. I felt like I was a beginner again, like I had no idea what I was doing. And the same thing happened the next morning. I just felt awkward, I felt weird. I was trying to go a new route where I would get some sun and some side light because it was early in the day and the sun doesn't come in to the streets of Philly until a little bit later in the morning. So I was heading sort of to the outskirts where the buildings are lower down. But nevertheless, I got that one photo of the jazz sign that was like the slow shutter speed photo. It looks kind of cool. I've never seen that before lit up at night. I don't think I've ever been in that street before at night time. And the next day I got the photo underneath the archway of that hotel. I shoot there all the time. If you watch these videos regularly, you'll see I've, I've, I've been there three or four times in the last few months. And I always just try something when I'm there. And the framing of that picture was definitely not original. I'm sure tons of people have shot it that way. I'm pretty sure I've seen photos of it shot that way. Pretty sure I've tried to shoot it that way before and just never had any good subjects in there. But at the end of the day, I got two photos, maybe three photos that I actually quite like and I'm happy that I had something to put in this video. And again, if you like these POV style videos where I talk about my process and I show you the good and the bad of making street photography, then hit the subscribe button. I make new videos every week. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have any thoughts and I'll see you in the next video. I might do a review of 
that 56 millimeter lens now that I've sent it back. So, all right, cheers. Yeah.